Hey, what's up? This is DJ Esco. I'm doing a first-hand preview or look uh, for those who haven't gotten the opportunity to look at the NS7. Uh, we're going to do a quick look at it and uh, kind of overview what features it has straight out of the box. Uh, this is one that I bought from Guitar Center from their display. I uh, wasn't able to get a brand new one straight out of a box or anything like that due to availability, but uh, as most of you guys already know, Newmark is getting ready to drum these things out and uh, quantities are very extremely limited but uh, for good reason they're very high in demand and uh, Newmark is simply not able to keep up with production uh, from what I've heard so anyway make a long story short uh, both of the uh, platters are doubled uh, this is designed for the DJ that uses vinyl in mind uh, to provide all the features that vinyl would provide except uh, combining it with a uh, shall we say a digital CD player uh, they actually put uh, a lot of thinking, ingenuity, and uh, features combined, packed it all into one system. The system is rather rugged. It uh, has uh, aluminum platters on it. Uh, it features actual vinyl, which uh, you can change the, the records. It uses 45s to whatever you want. So if you want to change it out to, uh, say, blue vinyl, red vinyl, green vinyl, whatever, something with a picture, you're able to do that. Uh, you got to use an Allen wrench to take this piece off and uh, remove it. Now, interestingly enough, uh, one of the things that I discovered is for those who like to have some kind of control over the slide um, on, on vinyl, you're able to adjust it two ways. I don't know if this is a feature that Newmark uh, did in, intentionally or not, but uh, there's a point that if you look very carefully, an Allen screw goes in, and you can adjust this up or down, and this will adjust the tension between the vinyl and the slip mat underneath. Uh, other than that, they also included uh, motor torque control. You can put it low or high, it's up to you, to give you a uh, better feel of uh, whatever turntable you wish it to feel like. Other than that, uh, like I said previously, it combines uh, both digital and analog features. Uh, one of the analog features is needle dropping, of course. That's reflected over here with this uh, strip search. You're able to actually skip in between uh, any part of the vinyl itself within the software. You have track forward, track advance, uh, or go backwards on it. You have bleep, reverse, reverse plays the uh, spins the platter backwards the other way, and of course the music itself. Bleep is, uh, well, if you want to censor anything. You can shut the motors off, and uh, this way pitch is affected instead of scratching. Uh, you can reactivate them if you like. Also, you have stop time and start time. This affects the how quickly the platter starts up and how quickly it stops. So you have key lock, range, you have pitch control, you can slide it up and down, and also through the software you can change the range of that effect. Uh, you have pitch bend, you can go plus minus on it. You can also establish cues, cue points, uh, you can also delete them. You have five banks to do this. Uh, you have sync, cue, stop, and pause, which are all features that you can find in almost every CD player nowadays. Other than that, uh, you have complete control over your software your crates, uh, you can do crates, prepare, files, those are the three buttons here. Yeah, you're able to go back, forward in your selection, turn the knob, click on it, just like you would on the mouse, etc., whatever. You have uh, load A, which reflects your first platter, and load B, which reflects the second platter. Uh, other than that, you have load prepare. Another nice thing is the uh, mixer that you mark tied into this. Uh, it has gain uh, for each side. It also has a master and booth which on the back side I'll cover up a little bit shortly or uh, kind of tell you what that's about. Uh, you have channel 1, channel 2. Uh, these, this is for your headphones and you can select your mode between master and channel 1, channel 2. So you can blend and listen to whatever you're doing beforehand. Other than that you have your volume control for each side uh, and also your crossfader. Now the crossfader and these have a really nice feel to them. Uh, a lot of the battle DJs I think they will uh, appreciate that <clears throat> they uh, from everything I've read Newmark put a lot of time into the development of this product uh, a lot of research a lot of consideration and got a lot of feedback from a lot of people and continues to do so today uh, just like I said it's mirrored both ways and uh, that's it now some of the features across the front are mic input auxiliary input which is nice because you can add any other device that you want, maybe a, a, another NS7 or what have you, uh, or say record player or whatever. Anyway, make a long story short, 
you can use this as a pass through you have three settings you have mic uh, you have a combination of mic and auxiliary or you can shut those off and on um, then you have gain this is for your mic control uh, you can increase the volume on it, adjust the bass or the treble independently which is a nice feature and other than that you have fader start uh, for the platters of course and uh, you like I said earlier you have motor torque crossfader contour is a nice feature you can adjust the contour on the crossfader uh, you can do crossfader reverse where you flip that uh, some of the battle DJs would actually appreciate that and uh, other than that you have two headphone inputs quarter inch and three and a quarter uh, you have headphone volume control and other than that <coughs> straight out of the box it comes with this which is basically a rack for your laptop uh, on the back side you have USB input you have balance outputs left and right you have a master output and a booth output uh, so if you have a monitoring system at a club etc whatever you're able to make use of it on the other side is simply power another feature and the power button of course another feature that I thought was kind of neat is it includes fans so both sides have its own fan to cool down the platter the noise on it is rather low you won't really hear too much of it and uh, it's a good effect what I'm going to be using for this setup is a Toshiba portable hard drive which contains mp3s uh, to for music and a Lenovo uh, W500 series laptop and that's it just give me a second I'll get it all set up Everything is pretty much plug and play. You install Serato Itch, plug it in, and it's ready to roll.